Hello and welcome back to another Starfield Outpost guide and this time we'll be talking about setting up both greenhouses for growing plants and a husbandry facility as a lot of you have been asking about that. We'll also cover briefly the setting up of transport routes again and optimizing your settlements for efficiency through the use of robots. So if you do find this guide helpful please do hit the thumbs up and why not subscribe for more Starfield guides. I should also mention that in our last video we covered the basics of outposts so do make sure to check up on that if you feel this is too advanced for you I'll put a link above in the cards now and also at the end of the video but to unlock the greenhouse and husbandry you'll first need to unlock the associated skills botany and zoology once these are unlocked I believe you'll find the greenhouse and basic husbandry buildable in your build list providing that the planet you are on can support life this is really important and you will only have access to the greenhouse on a planet or moon that produces flora and vice versa with the husbandry you'll only be able to produce place that on a planet or moon which has fauna on it this I presume is the same reason why on some planets and moons which don't have atmospheres you can't build wind farms because there's no wind on the planetoid now once you have found a suitable planet to build the greenhouse and husbandry you can select the recipes that you have unlocked in the computer outside the facility. The finding of the recipes are done through exploration and scanning either the fauna or the flora that you come across. If you haven't done any exploration you're not going to have any recipes to work with. This is also very similar to the setting up of the fabricator for these buildables which we discussed in the last video. So what you're going to have to do is connect the resources that they require to the buildable whether that's the greenhouse or the husbandry. For the greenhouse we require just water whereas the husbandry requires multiple resources for the one recipe that I've unlocked so far. And obviously if you are looking to increase the production of your resources in these you'll want to consider researching the first level of horticulture or domestication in the outpost development section of the research laboratory which unlock the larger variants and you can proceed down that tree should you wish. There's also another way in which we can boost production which we'll talk about shortly. But with that out of the way let's cover transport routes. I now have over five outposts and my original plan was to transport all of the resources to one outpost and the idea was to produce all of the advanced items in this one outpost. Now it would seem that this isn't possible as you can only build three cargo links per outpost unless you've put skill points into outpost management which we'll be talking about a little more later but I haven't got that far yet so I can't really talk on that. But thankfully we can send multiple resources from out one outpost to another. Just connect all of the resources that you want to send to the outgoing freight of a cargo link. These will display on the computer if you check the cargo link and from here we can go to the incoming cargo link at your other facility, open the computer and then accept the cargo link with the outpost you want to receive the resources from. But do note you can only accept resources from one outpost per cargo link, you can't bring multiple freights from multiple outposts to a single one, it's one to one. This facility here produces fluorine, tetrafluorides and copper which we have connected each to the outgoing bay of the cargo link. This means that we can then connect this cargo link with another outpost's cargo link such as my main one here. This is now receiving the freight ship full of all three resources. This however does lead us to the first major settlement problem. You can connect the incoming con cargo link bay to several freight units. The solids will be separated from the gases and the liquids. But if you have two gases such as the fluorine and tetrafluoride which we have here you'll notice that both arrive in the same storage. This is fine initially but if you're connecting a particular resource to a production unit it is 
impossible for the storage to fill up with the resource that's not in use, halting your production. So I very much hope that Bethesda plan on improving this with a simple feature that allows you to lock a particular storage unit with a particular resource. But with that out of the way, let's cover optimization to your outposts. So let's talk about robots. These are also unlocked in the robot section of the research lab and investing in this could be very beneficial as each robot comes with its own perks. The sanitation bot will increase non-organic item production by 10%. These are items extracted from veins such as the iron, the gold, the silver or aluminium, all of that kind of stuff. The garden bots will increase the production of organic materials, such as those found in the greenhouse or husbandry, and the engineering bot will improve manufacturing by 10%. And better yet, these are stackable. However, you can use a maximum of three at an outpost unless you have rank two in outpost management, which will unlock more robot slots. Regardless, this does allow you to specialize a little bit more in a particular type of production and you can increase your production by up to 30% from the get-go and if you do research robots too you can also unlock the logistics bot. This will allow you to increase production of all resources across your outpost by 5% and then there's also the power management bot which increases your power generation but it doesn't specify by how much. I also have a sneaky suspicion that the next robot unlock will be a type of sentry bot because that's linked to the defense tree in the research tree. But I will be unlocking that hopefully in today's stream after this video. Finally, let's talk about the crew station. Building this allows crew to be assigned at your outpost to help manage your outpost. Once again, you are limited to the amount of crew you can assign at an outpost unless you have rank 3 in outpost management, which increases the headroom for that a little more. Now to use the crew station, place one down at your settlement, then go to your data screen. Next, go to the ship screen and click on crew in the bottom right. And here we can assign our bots and our crew members. Click the crew member you wish to assign and then choose where you want them assigned. Now I believe they do offer perks according to their skills, however Sarah is my only companion currently and her expertise is in botany. Because of this, you would expect the production value to increase when she's working at a botany based planet or facility. But this is not the case. So though I can show you how to assign them, I'm not sure of the positive effects that they have. If you do though, please do let me know in the comments or jump into stream and tell me. Now guys, I do hope you found this video helpful. If you did, do hit the thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. And special thanks does go to all of our amazing supporters over on Patreon who allow me to create this content. Most notably our Solar Eclipse patrons, James Owen, Fireflesh and Treble, as well as our Lunars, The Calamity, Ben, Star and That Dude AW, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Deuce. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.